All right. If you are bored in 2024 and don't know what type of zombie game to play, here it is. I recently just found it. This is it. This is the one. This is the game. This is the one you should be playing right now. It is literally called... What's going on, everyone? We're back with another video. And, uh... Yeah, if you can tell by the title of the video, this is quite literally... I mean, in my opinion, like, easily one of the best zombie games I've ever played that's literally, like, pretty new. It's, like, barely a year old of a game. Pretty much just came out. And I found it by accident. I I almost didn't even want to play it because I was like, doesn't even... The, the picture for the game doesn't really look pleasing to play. I was like, eh, it looks pretty basic. No, it's really good. It's really good. It was like a... A catfish of a picture, man. Cause this game is way better than I. Th oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. I didn't know I had that low HP. But yeah, um, this game's really, really good for what it is. It's basically like a wave-based game. You know, like it's pretty basic. You just survive as long as you can. But here's the twist. There's many objectives to do within the game like the main objective is to survive as long as you can but there's also many objectives in the game that you have to do which is really cool kind of different than like just you know basically surviving there's tons i mean not ton a ton but there's a pretty good amount of guns you can buy um there's uh, zombie bosses every 10 waves. Pretty unique. Um, they're pretty hard to defeat. I mean, this game's not meant to be easy. So if you're looking for a challenge and you're looking for a unique zombie game to play in 2024, this is this is it. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is it. The graphics are pretty good for what it is. Like, this is actually really good. Gameplay is super smooth and nice. Like, I actually really enjoy this game. The only issue I have with this game, in my opinion, that I kind of wish they never did, which really irks me, is that for a game that's supposed to be wave-based zombie game, um, you can't play infinite waves. It only goes to wave 30, and then the game's over once you beat wave 30. Which is dumb, because why? how could you make a wave-based game but not make it infinite? And then the only way to play infinite is you have your own server, a private server, which you have to buy, which is 200 V-Bucks, right? And which would have been fine originally, but then all of a sudden now you have to pay every month for the private server to keep it going. Every every month it's two hundred V bucks to keep the private server. I don't I don't know why that's a thing because that's just a waste of money in my opinion. Like I'm not gonna sit here and spend five bucks every month just to keep the private server just so I can play Infinite Waves, which originally should have been an original uh option to play, but whatever. Maybe this guy's just really trying to crank out your wallet, which is dumb, but. I mean, that's the only problem I have with this game, is that that's dumb. You know, they're re like, if you play not a private server, you only get to wave 30, and that's it. But overall, it's still fun. I mean, I recommend you guys should try it. Um, at least give it a try if you're really bored and you don't know what kind of zombie games to play. Because, frankly, there's not a lot of zombie games on Roblox that are either good or most of the good ones back in the day are non-playable. So there's not really much of a zombie genre anymore, really, on Roblox. It kind of died out a little bit. Everything else, though, about this game is smooth as butter. Everything is smooth as butter. This is like... Like, I've, I've been kind of grinding this game a little bit right now, because this is, like, really fun, actually. The furthest I got was, like, wave 41. It, it, it gets increasingly hard, dude. Like... Like... Okay, see how, like, I had to grab that gas mask because there's a gas being in the map for whatever reason. 
that's like one of the mini objectives or like the power goes out and you have to turn it on if you want to see everything again. I mean, at least you get a flashlight. You can turn it on and off. Cool feature. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cool. It's definitely a unique wave-based type of game. I've never seen one where there's mini objectives to do within the game. But yeah, this is like really, really, really good. There's different types of zombies too, like the further you get, the more different types of zombies you get. There's like a TV zombie that comes out that blurs your vision. Uh, there's like a glitch zombie that makes your screen all glitchy. It's really cool. It's really unique of a game. I actually very much enjoy it. Um, it's pretty addicting to play, I must say. The few things I think they should definitely try to fix though, like when the zombie bosses come out, you don't even see them anywhere in the map. You have to go find them, which is really, really irritating. Some of these maps are decently big where it's like, oh my gosh, I got to go around the map and find where the zombie boss is. I mean, it's not, I guess, a big deal, but it's a little annoying because I'd be struggling on this map. I'm like, where is the zombie boss at? Can't find them. Yeah, so I'm going to see how far I can get this game. I guess we'll see, because I don't know. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Oh, see, look at that. Power goes out. I got to turn it back on. Definitely give this a whirl. I'm not even going to lie. This is one of the best zombie games I've ever played. Pretty well, it's pretty well made. Yeah, you can buy different melee weapons, different secondaries, different primary weapons. He has a lot of zombies on him. <laughs> oh, good golly. I help you, I help you, buddy. Don't worry, don't worry, I help you, I help you. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. He makes us go in slow motion every time he hits us. I hate that. Refill ammo, get that, and that. I'm gonna stick with my brother. Especially when the gas is on and it's hard to see. I watch his back. He's got my back. I don't think he knows I have his back, but I got his back. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I think, I think, I might, it might not be true, but I think the more players you have, maybe the little bit more zombies there are. Maybe. I don't think so, though. It doesn't really seem like it. I mean, right now it kind of does, but I maybe not. I'm going to let him pick up the ray gun. If he picks it up. Pick it up, bro. Pick up the ray gun. Oh, now it's pointless. I forgot, there's a ray gun that drops, there's a minigun that drops. Pretty cool. But there's no other power-ups, it's just like ammo refill, health regener regeneration. Or, you know, it gives you a full health. There's grenade drops, you can pick up to get more grenades. Blah, blah, blah. Which, I'm pretty glad the ammo drops are pretty common, because you run ammo pretty quick in this game. Not even going to lie. I really do like this third person feature on this game too. Can't change it either. Like you're stuck in this third person. Can't go to first or anything. But that's fine. I actually really like it like this. I don't know why. This always been kind of my favorite zombie like style gameplay I guess like this. You know most of you guys are probably like looking for a zombie game to play and there's like nothing out there and I'm quite literally waiting for Corrupt Zombies to come out because that's going to be a banger when it drops. So, I mean, when that game comes out, everyone's going to be playing it. I'm going to be making constant videos about it. It is going to be another really good zombie game. Another Call of Duty zombie style game, which is kind of annoying because we've had like 50 of those games already come out and people do not stop making replicas of call of duty zombies but whatever
But this game is going to be different because they're copying Cold War Zombies, which if any of you guys played it, it's a little different than like a normal Call of Duty Zombie style. Just a little different than like the previous Call of Duties. Um, which I actually really enjoyed Cold War Zombies. It was like pretty good. You can buy ammo from the ammo crates and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I thought it was pretty unique and pretty cool. So the fact that they're finally uh, made a game that's a replica of Cold War Zombies is going to be pretty cool. I ain't trying to die. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. You're not welcomed. Funny oh, that. Can't believe we almost died. I need health. I need a health pack. Well, I can't really turn on the power because uh, there's too many of these zombies, man. Oh, oh, hey, speaking of health packs, give me it. Well, that was pointless. I grabbed it and now I'm basically back to how much health I originally had. Oh, thank you. Level 36, finally, I can buy that sniper. So right now this game is still in beta, I guess, according to the developer. Which, that's crazy that this is still in beta, because this is, like, really good. Like, it's basically completed. Only problem is there's only three different maps to choose from. Unfortunately, there's not, like, ten, but... It is what it is. I mean, it's it's a start, and that's probably why it's obviously in beta. I don't know why we're camping over here. This is like a death corner. Oh, shoot. Now my hammer's two hits. I better be careful now. <laughs> I got you, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. Stand back. Stand. Oh, I'm throwing a grenade. Yeet. <laughs> God, grenades are so OP. You got to you got to use grenades wisely cuz the grenade drops sometimes are common, sometimes they don't drop for like four rounds straight. So I try to use one grenade a round at least. Like I my strategy was to hoard hoard up the zombies and then um and then throw a grenade down and kill them all and wait for another horde and maybe use another grenade. Because then you can kill, like, you can kill all the zombies with just one grenade. So I try to make sure they all stop spawning and I get all the zombies and then I throw it. <laughs> Yo. Yo, he's freaking out. He's freaking out. Relax, homie. Relax. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, I'd say play this game on PC if you can. I mean, if you really want to play it on mobile and you don't have a PC or something, I mean, you can try. I, I don't know. I feel like it's not mobile friendly as much as, I don't know. I tried it on the phone. I feel like it, I don't know. It, it felt weird to play on the phone. I don't know why. It just, to me, it just felt weird. So I'm like, right, I'm just going to play on the computer. Like, if you're a decent, good zombie player like I am, like, I'm I'm fairly decent at zombie games. I played a bunch. I'm not... I could play, like, two games, you know, like, twice. I could play twice, two times. Any zombie game. And then I would pretty much master, like, how the game goes. You know, I pretty much nailed it. So... If you're a decent zombie player like I am, this is this is the game for you, man. This is it. Or, I mean, or I guess even if you're not good at zombie games, but you like playing them, this is still it. <laughs> It'd definitely be really hard for you if you're not, you know, if you don't think you're necessarily good at zombie games. I mean, well, this one particularly is freaking hard. So, I mean, even for me, it's a little bit of a challenge. So, you know, and I, all I do is play zombie games just about. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty dang difficult. Okay, I might die. Eat this. Eat that. Ooh! You don't regenerate health really quick in this game. So, you like, if you're 
getting pretty low. You better just start running and don't even bother killing. Just run for your life until you heal up or... Unless you get a health pack, then you're good, but... I'm gonna go over here because then I'm gonna die. Hope eight. I hope my brother comes over here because this is a really good spot to run around and not really take damage. We were literally in a death spot. He needs to. He needs to run away and get over here. Oh my gosh! Not again. I don't think my brother. I should tell my brother. You can upgrade your weapon too. I don't think he knows that. Oh yeah, which that's also really cool. I forgot to mention that you can upgrade your gun, like, so it does more damage, or you can upgrade it to have more bullets, so you can shoot. You know, have a bigger clip in your gun. Not more ammo, but more more bullets at least in the clip, but you wouldn't get more ammo. Um. And then you can upgrade the fire rate of your gun, which is really cool. That is like, I like seeing that feature. I've only played one zombie game where they added that feature. It's kind of risky just using melee right now, but. Oh, never mind. We did get ammo. I was like, we didn't get ammo and I'm about out, but never mind. Woohoo! Yeah, that zombie blows up sometimes, not all the time. Alright, I'm gonna get this last zombie. Going down, he's going down. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they get stuck. So you just gotta melee them or put your gun in the wall and turn your camera and just shoot them through the wall. Ooh, kill that glitch zombie. Ugh. Ooh, don't blow up. He does a lot of damage when he blows up. This is getting a little intense. Trying not to die, but I don't know, man. I don't know why I am losing so much. Oh, there we go. My brother must have picked up a health pack. Thank goodness. Whoa, hello. Where did you come from? Oh my god, he's gonna die. <laughs> oh, poor guy. The only way I'm gonna die is if ammo doesn't spawn in or a health, and I'm done for. It's happened a few times. That's actually the reason why I died like yesterday or whatever day it was. That I was playing by myself and I got to wait 41. I had no ammo, I had no nothing. There's no way, dude. <laughs> 48. I'm on ammo? Oh, God. I didn't even know. I actually didn't know. I swear I had ammo. It's not really worth using the shotgun. Okay. It's, it's, it's not strong for this wave at all. My P90 is the only thing that's worth it right now. I got an itch. I got an itch. I was itching my back. And I died. I had an itch. That's why I didn't move. I, th I had one second. I thought I could itch for one second. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, that's basically how, if you kind of got the idea of how the game works, that's how it worked. Um, it's pretty fun. Pretty cool. Definitely worth it to play with friends. That is, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video like I always do. Um. Um, um, bye.